Hey everybody, welcome to uh, Snap Fresh Farms. I'm going to do another vlog. This is number seven, vlog number seven. And uh, today, what I'm going to do is it's going to be a three part vlog. Uh, it'll be uh, vlog seven, part one, two, and three. We're going to go through a progression. And what I'm going to do for this one is uh, actually going to uh, take up on a challenge to look at uh, coconut coir instead of dirt and do a comparison between growing in dirt and growing in the uh, coconut coir. I've got, uh, this is Thunder Acres uh, coconut coir in a brick. And what you do is you take this brick, you put it in water, and it expands and it becomes uh, the uh, coconut uh, pith basically expands and then it's uh, great for using in, in planting and growing. And what I want to do is I want to do a uh, comparison between what I've been doing with uh, dirt in bins and put coconut coir in one bin, put dirt in the other one. I'm going to replace the dirt that's in these uh, and in the one and then put the, other, the coconut coir in the other. I'm going to grow the same exact thing in both. Uh, I'm going to have the same lighting conditions, same air, con air conditions, um, same temperatures. I'm also going to put the same amount of uh, nutrient in the water for both the coconut coconut coir and also for the uh, the soil so my nutrient uh, in the water will be the same and then what we'll do is we'll see how things go we'll see how it grows um, we'll also look at uh, I'm gonna look at um, how it grows how the environment uh, does as far as the plants uh, does it breed uh, some of the fungus gnats in the coconut coir or does it not I'm going to be interested to see that. One of the things that I'm looking uh, for is the reduction in pathogens in the coconut coir uh, compared to the to the dirt. Okay, we're going to kick this off, and uh, I've got my brick of coconut coir. I'm going to have to break that up because I don't need as much. This grows to eight times its size, so it's going to be quite a volume of coconut coir. Got that. First step is to break that into the size that I need it, and then we're going to add water. Um, I've already, already hit this with a hammer a few times. Uh, <laughs> I got to do a little bit more than that, and I'll break that up. And then uh, I have a bucket. I'm gonna need uh, a big, a bucket that's big enough to hold all the expanded coconut coir in it, and also the water that I got to add to it. And uh, I'll get to doing that next. Okay, I'm over by my uh, my deep sink, and there's not a lot of light over here. Sorry about that, but. Anyway, I've taken my brick of coconut coir, I've broken a piece off of it, and uh, I'm going to use my handy dandy uh, deep sink over here to uh, put the other piece that I have in my bucket. Uh, I'm going to put the piece in here, that's about that big. Uh, I expect that to expand about eight times the size, that should give me a pretty good, pretty good amount of uh, coconut coir. I'll put water with that, expand it, and then uh, we'll see what the result of that is. Um, I also would suggest if you're doing this in a deep sink, especially in your basement, uh, put a piece of towel or something by your drain so you don't jam your drain up because this will, this will do an absolute number on a, on a drain uh, very quickly if you start getting it going down your drain. This will expand and you will end up with a big mess. So uh, put some kind of filter between your drain and, and actually the water going into this and if anything spills out or anything like that it would probably be a good idea. So uh, let's uh, add some water and uh, see how this goes. Okay, I've been mixing this. I've been mixing this up. I put uh, that initial pint of water in there. Um, you can't probably see this, but uh, anyway, I put a, about a pint of water in to start, and then I added another two cups uh, as things started expanding. It started really soaking up the water. Uh, it's pretty dry actually, so I got to add more water. I also added. Uh, Another part of that brick, the brick now looks uh, looks about like this size now. So that was uh, a full brick. Now it's about a third of it left, a little bit more than a third of it left. And uh, I'm going to add a little bit more water after I added that part, and we'll mix that all together. I think I'll have enough, uh, just enough for the bucket after about two thirds of that brick, and. Uh, total water added to that. Basically whatever starts to really make it expand 
you don't want it to be too wet, you don't want it to be like mud, but uh, it's starting to look uh, look pretty good and it's a good consistency and I'll be putting that in the, uh, the tub pretty soon and then uh, we can add that all together and then uh, we'll let that go. Okay, um, I took the took one of these bricks, this is one that uh, another one that I bought, I bought three of these, but uh, one of these bricks actually ends up being, uh, if you can see this bucket here, you can actually see where it is on the depth of the bucket, it's about halfway down the bucket, so half of this bucket is now full after taking, I decided to actually use the whole brick and see where that got me and that would also give you a pretty good indicator of, uh, of what you know what in a bucket you will get from a brick so this bucket is like I said it's it's uh, half full and that's what one brick will do and I reconstituted the coconut coir it uh, turns into a nice consistency for for planting it's a lot like dirt but it's not it's uh, the the husk of the coconut and from what I understand it's a really good uh, growing environment for hydroponics hydroponic solution has to be added to it because this is neutral it does not have really any minerals in it uh, and in fact you don't want it to have minerals in it so that you can uh, add your nutrients know what the nutrients going into it are and uh, it will create a very balanced and, and good environment for uh, for growing so I'm going to take this coconut coir that I just reconstituted it's now expanded, it's a good consistency throughout. You don't want big lumps or anything like that. Make sure when you put the water in here, you don't over, over water it. Just put a little bit at a time, reconstitute it until you get that nice soil-like mixture so that it's still damp and, and it is wet, but it's not, uh, it's like muddy or anything. It's literally, you, you've reconstituted the actual fibers of the coconut. Okay, we got uh, one bin here. I'm gonna take the coconut coir, put that in here. And we'll see how that actually works as far as the volume of one brick in one of these containers. It's starting to look pretty good already. Make sure we get it all out of there. Whatever you do, don't wash this out. Don't wash this, uh, this container out in your sink, okay? Because it will destroy your, your pipes uh, eventually if you keep doing it or if you're, if you're going to do that on a regular basis at all. Uh, you don't want this stuff in your pipes, like I said before. Uh, this would definitely not be good for them. So I would suggest using an outside hose and hosing it out. Since uh, you're growing indoors, uh, not everything can be done outside right now. It's actually pretty cold right now, but uh, I will not wash this out in my sink. I also have to vacuum a little bit down here, keep things clean. But uh, pushing this around, getting this into the, the bin, it's actually at a really nice height. One of those bricks works out really well. Um, and this will, this is spreading out pretty nicely. Um, I'll let this dry, dry out, and then, uh, then we'll start planting. Okay, I've got my two bins. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna have you go through putting dirt or soil into a bin. So I, I took this bin, it now has a uh, soil mix in it. Out, actually at my garage in a bin that I mix it in. Uh, it's got uh, uh, some vermiculite, it's got uh, really rich soil, and then also uh, worm castings and some worm tea in that that I mix together, put it in a bin and I let it sit. And then uh, that becomes my soil base. That's gonna be here on the right hand side. For you, that's my left hand side. And then on the other side here in the middle, I've got the coconut coir, and I'm going to be seeding that and the soil. Uh, I've got uh, Mountain Valley is where I buy most of my bulk seeds. Uh, not an advertisement or anything, but just Mountain Valley is where I get them. I've got a large, uh, it's about, uh, this is, yeah, this is one pound, and it's spicy salad mix. It's a nice mix. You get uh, multiple types of salad growing at the same time. What I'm going to do is uh, cast the seeds into both of these uh, and I'm gonna put about the same amount in each bucket. Okay, I've got everything planted. I've got the, the salad green seeds in the soil on this side. I've got the coconut coir over here that's been planted. We've got that all watered down. Got a nice mix going. 
and a nice amount of uh, saturation to the water. So those are now planted and uh, we'll see what happens. And I'll give you an update uh, probably about a week. We'll see what, uh, what germinates faster. Uh, I imagine that the soil will actually germinate faster because you've got dark soil with the light uh, absorption probably heating it faster. Uh, but we'll see. And uh, we'll go from there. And we'll do this little experiment and see how things go. And just to give you an update, I've got uh, in my hydroponics bins, I've got uh, got a lot growing here. Uh, some of it's been growing for a while. We've been picking off of that romaine lettuce in the back there, right here. We've been picking off that for the last uh, three or four weeks, and that's almost at the end of its life, probably. Uh, we've got uh, other lettuce growing here that I've planted, and we've got a lot of parsley going. I planted parsley in multiple uh, neti cups. It's grown really well. And we just keep picking that and throwing it into soups and other things that my wife is uh, cooking on a daily basis. Uh, this lettuce back here is growing. Uh, that's been going for a couple weeks now. We really haven't picked anything off of it yet, but we're going to start taking leaves off of that. That's, uh, that's butter crunch back there. So hopefully we'll start to see that really come into itself uh, and start getting bigger. The uh, other plants, uh, I've got the the star lettuce growing here. That's grown really well. It just keeps growing. We keep picking off it. We keep growing, and it's been going for weeks now. I've got some uh, microgreens. I've got some sunflower microgreens going. Uh, I picked up this really nifty black black container that actually closes, and it's great for growing microgreens because it sucks out the light for first five days or six days. These have been going for about a week now. I've got a little bit more to go on them and hopefully they start really starting to grow up. They're not actually doing as well as I wanted. I've got some, uh, some plants growing here. Actually, uh, those are also uh, lettuce that's growing and I'll be planting those in the hydroponics uh, neti cup that the, the romaine is currently in. And then I've got a whole, a whole planter here that uh, this is for my wife. This is actually one of her birthday presents for me was these are all flowers and I'm growing a whole rack of flowers here we've got zinnias marigolds colliers and pansies pansies are taking a while they're not popping up everything else is going crazy though uh, in fact every every seed practically that I planted is, is come up uh, on the other ones so I think we'll see the pansies in a little bit uh, but they're taking their time and that's grown pretty well uh, we'll be ready for the spring when that hits it's currently uh, in March. It's still pretty cold out though. So uh, we've got a lot of cold air outside. But that's uh, kind of an update on where the the system is and how things are going. We've got the, the Swiss chard, the rainbow Swiss chard over here. That has been growing for months and months and months. And it just keeps growing and reproducing. I keep adding the nutrient in. It just keeps going. We've got the other chard. The other chard that actually started when I started all these videos months ago. Uh, this just keeps growing. Uh, it just doesn't stop. As long as I keep putting nutrient in that soil, this keeps growing. We keep picking it and picking it and picking it. It just, it's amazing. Uh, we get so much off of this one bin uh, that we just, we have it in salads almost every other night. So we'll see how these bins do and we'll do an update. All right. Thanks. Have a good day and uh, subscribe to uh, my YouTube channel, Snap Fresh. Snap Fresh Farm, and you will see updates coming into your notifications so that you can actually check to see how the growing is going in the coconut core and also the soil. So, have a good day. Take care. Bye.